it's everywhere you look in the immigration system. It's backlog, backlog, backlog. Over 1.6 million people are stuck in the employment-based green card backlog. Over 2.3 million people have cases pending before the immigration courts. And tens of thousands of young people from Mexico and Central America are stuck in the special immigrant juvenile status backlog and forced to put their lives on hold until visas become available. Now, add to that the U visa backlog, according to data updated most recently on the USCIS website as of June 28th. The U visa was established a generation ago in the year 2000 to provide a pathway to status for victims of crimes who help in the police investigation. And if approved, U visa applicants also provide a pathway to status for certain family members, such as children and spouse. Now imagine a scenario where a person who is undocumented is the victim of a crime. Naturally, that person may be reluctant to work with law enforcement. They're scared they, law and police will say, hey, we're going to deport you. Uh, but making sure that we have good public safety in the United States takes precedence over deporting somebody who's undocumented, especially somebody who was the victim of a crime, which is why they came up with this U visa to give people some sort of relief valve to make sure that if they are the victim of a crime, that they will report it and help the police and the district attorneys prosecute the perpetrators of these crimes. Well, there have been so many crimes against undocumented immigrants in the United States, and there are over 325 thousand applications pending for a U visa. That means 325,000 undocumented immigrants have been the victims of serious crimes. We're not talking about petty crimes. We're talking about serious, serious crimes against them. And they only give 10,000 U visas a year. So that means if every person who applies for the U visa gets approved, somebody's going to wait 32 and a half years for a green card. So something has to be done about these U visa backlogs as well as all the other backlogs as well. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.